the lighter gear I'm chasing snapper, and I know they like a pilchard or soft plastic slowly sinking through the water column, so these are the first two rigs I prep. The pink plastic is always my go-to colour to start with. I'm fishing in 55 to 60 metres of water, and I want my baits in the bottom 10 metres, so I rig them to suit this depth. There's not much current today, so I'm fishing pretty light jig heads and pretty light sinkers. I've got a small ball sinker on the floating pilchard, and I'm using a quarter ounce jig head, and just gonna let them both slowly sink down, and hopefully we uh, pick something up on the way down. Okay, soft plastic's in the zone, and on, yes. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, it's a good fish. What do we got here? Just had to get down into that 55 metres of water. Oh, yeah, that's got a bit of snapper run about it, maybe. Didn't take long for him to get that plastic. I just lost that live, live bait before. And switch rods, the soft plastic was just getting down in the zone. And it didn't take long to hook up with a really good fish. Just fishing with the light gear, 16 pound leader and 16 pound main line. So I'm gonna go pretty easy on this fish. You just never know how they're hooked. And uh, if it's a snapper, they can be feeding on, on shellfish and sharpening those front teeth. And it's really easy to get bitten off. It's always the question, what have we got here? There's a number of species you can catch on these wrecks. This time of year in the cooler, cooler weather. You're fishing in the middle of the day around the tide turn and you just never know what you're going to get. Oh, and we have a really, really nice snapper. Yes! That's the kind of fish we come here for. That is an absolute ripper. What a beauty. I'm going to get the net for this fish, because the last thing I want to do is lose it after such a good fight. This is the time where you lose these fish close to the boat. Oh, that is an absolute cracker of a fish. And that is exactly why I come to this spot, to catch fish like that. Beautiful snapper, good five, six kilos, 80 centimeters. And you can just see he's caught that, uh, got that soft plastic in the corner of the mouth. Perfect hookup on the light gear. And that's exactly the kind of fish I expect to catch at this time of the year on these spots. Absolutely beautiful. Snapper grow to over a metre, sexually maturing at 30 centimetres. They can live for more than 40 years and have a slow growth rate. These bigger models are renowned for feeding off the bottom and will often come up to take a free spalling soft plastic. Yep. Oh yeah. And the floater has been taken. Oh, we'll get some line back. He's just grabbed it and swam deep. <laughs> oh, what have we got here? Really hard to tell. Hasn't pulled any drag yet, but I've just got him on a weird angle. He's just picked it up and ran straight towards the boat, down deep. And now he's gonna wanna get away from me. Here we go. Oh yeah, we've got a good fish here. You never know one of your rods is gonna go off, just having some lunch. And the floater's just got down into that burly trail, and something's come and picked it up. All right, I've got some color. Here it comes, I reckon. It could be another really good snapper. Yep. Oh, and it's bigger than the last one. Probably up around that seven, eight kilo mark. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh, that is a beautiful fish. Look at that. <laughs> He's taken that floating pilchard down in the burly trail, and what a magnificent snapper. Absolutely beautiful. It's colder water weather in winter, and that's exactly the type of fish that I expect to catch when I'm fishing out here on the wrecks in Noosa. 